what happened to me, my the awakening experience and the whole way the breaking down of my marble structure, my whole life really, because I am no longer plugged in to life the way most people are. So I'm really like a free floating element. You know how I constellation I set people up, I say you're a free floating element. You can move wherever you are moved to at any time, where the field wants you or where the movement is that you want it. That's how I am right now in life. Wherever life, you know, like a leaf in the wind, wherever it says, okay, go there. And then go there. That's really how life is. My life is now. I'm completely empty and available at any time to go wherever life wants me. And what I have found now in the, in the you know, in retrospect of having lived like this since 2006, that um, life wants something for me that I, my Margaret Riddler structure, could not ever figure out because it's beyond the knowing sphere. And that blackness, you know, that you see in my visual um, is, that's the unknown, that's the no mind that Michael talks about all the time, yeah, from his Zen tradition. That has a quality of not ever being attached to anything, not ever needing anything in any particular way. We can't, our structure, the grid structure, the mental, emotional structure, cannot fathom that life could be done without knowing a single thing and without having anything safe in place from which life is going to be lived. It can't fathom it because that's all it knows. And as soon as any little piece from that structure tries to break off or fall away, the fears are immediately there. Oh no, I need this. But we really don't need anything. And what you stated so beautifully that you were in this flow of life until you were 12 years old and you saw that coming over of programming, right? Kind of engulfing me and swallowing you up. My experience was the exact opposite. I was swallowed up 30 seconds or a minute after I was born. I was this unlimited space because I did a birth regression once. I was this unlimited space in the womb and for a very brief time after when I was born. And then the programming came in. And ever since then, my movement has been, it's like, up, up, how do I get out? How do I get out? I'm trapped, it's hell, I'm in hell, I feel like hell. Everything around is hell, get me out. Mm -hmm. And so my sense is, now anyway, in this time and age, you know, it seems like that's the movement for a lot of people, that nothingness space, that empty, no mind, full potential, but not defined in any way, that space, that is actually what moves us, that is us, that uses these bodies to express itself in these various ways that we are programmed. That is what says out, 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 out. Mm. That wants these structures broken down. That wants the freedom to move in each moment exactly how it wants to move. Without these grid structures telling it, no, you can't because, you know, I need to hold on to my job and I need this partner, otherwise I'm going to be lonely or whatever the thoughts are. It cannot be free as long as we are bound by these thoughts and feelings that hold our our sense of who we are in place and how the, how the world functions because it doesn't function the way we think it does. We all hold it in place to function that way because we're all with our beliefs and thoughts and feelings keep it in place. But I'm an example. I don't, I don't live according to these rules and yet it's a whole other way possible. A whole other way possible. And I was pushed by losing everything really everything and literally without any money for you know when I was on the road for for three years two and a half years I really had not a single dime anymore and yet life provided how do you do life without any money without any income this mental structure doesn't know how to do it 
it's gonna say over and over and over, no, you need to, whatever, it, whatever our belief is. But, you know, I'm, I'm living proof. None of the stuff that's out there is needed. There are whole other ways possible. So, to me, that's what life is doing through all of us and through all the, you know, institutions and to all of the programmed societal structures. I mean, left and right, they're all collapsing, right? Retirement. We don't know anymore if people within 10 years are able to get their social security. It's no longer secure. The housing is coll has collapsed and more and more is collapsing. So many of these structures that have worked for a very long time are crumbling, right? The, the insanities of these structures, the bases of them, the, 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 are collapsing everywhere. And what are we going to rely on as they're collapsing? The only thing to rely on is that inner empty nothingness space, because that's going to guide you every moment, all the time. If you rely on anything outside, you're lost. <laughs>